Ah. Here we are. Man. Lemon meringue today. Yeah, I couldn't believe I smoked the ATF for like three days. Of course, it was worth it, I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, once you get that stone in you, it's hard to get rid of. Bye. All right. Are we leaving? We are. 45 seconds ago. Cool. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Is that strange? <laughs> Tom Roth, first in the chat. I, I think Lois is even going to check in, maybe. Yeah. If she can do it, I think. I don't think you answered me last week. Tom, uh, how's your plants doing? Yeah. That's cold. <laughs> cold and brain freeze possible. Courtesy of Dutch Brothers. Merlin, Oregon. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they sure do love us over out there. Yeah, know that. Check this out. See that guy? George is in the house. <laughs> Yeah. Extra hands in Glenn. the garden. Good evening, Glenn. You married you. See? You seen that platinum dosi lately? Yeah. That thing's insane. Yeah. You're getting Come bigger. On. I still haven't cleaned out anything underneath yet. But yeah, what we're tying is almost ready for. We can almost tie it on the antenna now. From what we cleaned out? Yeah, yeah. From what we cleaned out and what we tied over and everything. We've only got about this much more before I can. <laughs> attach them pretty close to the antenna right. so but i'll clean out underneath when when that happens so hell yeah good evening glenn what's going on glenn I imagine his babies are looking sweet <laughs> oh they're they were looking sweet last week <coughs> <coughs> they're close they should be close yeah he should be 35 days or so maybe last week was 28 yeah yeah. <laughs> Just by guessing. Mr. Grow, good evening to you. Yes. Good evening. Hey, before I forget, um, I want to give a shout out to our friends over in Klamath Falls. Um, when it's smoky like this, I mean, it's been smoky here for two weeks. So, But when it's really smoky... You got to think of your plants are thinking it's dark because the smoke doesn't let the UV light through. So your plants are going to try to bud because they think it's dark. So if, if and that's not bad right now, I guess if it, it continues to be that way. Uh, but as soon as the smoke goes away and the light goes back to normal, uh, your plants are going to try to turn around to whatever timetable is then. So if you can and run you know like a hundred watt light above each plant to supplement it for the proper time of day for right now i mean even though it's going down <laughs> if you can supplement it you know that will help your plants so and and don't put it off the side it's right on like you know just right over the top of the coal so yeah you can do one side of the plant it will be light and it's receptive the other side may not so being right on top would be the best way to supplement you know supplement your light <laughs> for your plants with proper light so something to think about hawaiian buds what's up hey, good evening Working in the garden and listening to the show awesome nice it's been so smoky i mean we haven't been out in the garden i mean other than to water for a little bit to do work or anything for almost a week yeah, I, mean, I was outside for about half an hour earlier yeah and <laughs> yeah, no, i haven't seen it this smoky in a long time and I got family and stuff in Lakeview, and boy, my sister's you can look right out her back porch and see the fire, and she's kind of wishing or hoping they don't have to go anywhere, but she's got a, she's got a, they've got a truck packed up and ready to go if they need to, so, yeah, and, and Ginger, she's old enough, you know, they'll, they'll uh, evacuate her with the, the other people in the building, so, yeah, yeah, that's just scary down there right now, because I had to kid you. It's come, she said it came a quarter of a mile overnight so from their neighbor's place up towards them. So 
Oh, it, it's just scary. Yeah, Glenn, I agree. Hawaiian beds, hit the link in the chat. Show us your show us your babies. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> See your videos. Hop on, show us your babies. And we're forgetting a copy. <laughs> Josh, good evening. <laughs> yeah. Pennsylvania. Yeah, no kidding. I was thinking about you the other day. I hear you. I heard me thinking. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so that's great. <coughs> awesome. Hell yeah. We're sitting here. I'm enjoying some uh, lemon meringue because I did the ATF thing for three days. <laughs> yeah. That, was, Man. Yeah, that stuff I, is stony. I think this is a little bit of that gnome no candy silver. Yeah. yeah. I tried some of smoking some of that with the the, the oil that we dabbed that we blasted yeah. off it. And I put some of that on the silver. And man, I, I woke up with a knot on the side of my head. Bang my head on the table. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody around to see it, so all I could do is sit and laugh at myself. But then, I'm, yeah, I talked with Brother Deer later. I told him I was not on my head, you know. And we call those tabletop side effects. So, <laughs> Gosh, T. I have Agent Orange pollen coming from earlier this year. Very good. Do you still have it coming, or you have it? Really? I, I, I could have swore we, we did uh I thought, we, we did send you some. If we didn't let us know, we <laughs> we boo booed somewhere. <laughs> Hawaiian buzz. I'm gonna I'm gonna busy. take down a I'm gonna take down a Mysterion mail tomorrow. So I'll video that too. And it's just we're just taking off the plant and take the buds and put them in a paper bag until they dry. So I'm but that's all it'll be. I'm debating on whether to Try to keep the. Uh, I think you ought to try to pollinate one of these male, one of these females of that mysterium with it. Well, I'm debating on whether to try to keep the uh, Jaeger female. Yeah, why is that? Or not, not the female, the male. The, oh, the, oh, the Jaeger sure. male. Yeah, how but, many Jaeger seeds we got? Not many. I don't know. <laughs> not that <Huh>. many. <clears throat> not <laughs> that many. Very good. <laughs> It's in the process of dropping. It's a nice bushy man. Nice. Very oh, good. Yeah. A lot of people when they cross things, they really just cross things because of a name or something like that, or maybe just a stone. But I like to look at things like symmetry. You know, how, how look for mutations. If there's mutations, I rather not. You know that sort of thing. So when you're picking for a bud to pollinate, that's something else to consider too. Is is you know the, the bud that you're doing yeah so, yeah mm -hmm. that way you keep your strain clean and it really does pay off because a cleaner strain is a stronger strain that's for sure survived the groundhogs my crop got taken out this year from groundhogs i because wow. i didn't have my dogs in the yard as you bummer sorry did you call that. the ATF or the <laughs> fishing game to come trap them or something if not, uh, I don't know. Maybe just ask them what you can do. If you can shoot them yourself, no trouble. You know, get a little 22 or something. Yeah. Or a real nice, you know, like we got that real nice maybe a rifle, man. That's a hand good grenade one. in the hole. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I know we were talking about that, exhaust pipe. I've seen that movie. That shit don't work. <laughs> <laughs> we were thinking about putting an exhaust pipe down the hole. Yeah. You know, run a, a, you know, a vacuum cleaner hose off an exhaust and put it down the hole. Yeah, just walk around with a bucket of mud, and wherever you see it starting to come up, just throw a bunch of mud down that hole so they can't get out. So they can't dig through yeah. it all, yeah. Because, yeah, I was watering yesterday, and there's a hole this big around and this deep down right beside the Mysterion plant. Damn. And so, yeah, you're going to have to do something. They're getting pretty ballsy, so <laughs> we'll do that. Anyway, let's see. What do we got? Oh, yeah, you have some... Chipotle, yeah. No. Feeling no pain. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Modern there genetic. That's right. Pharmaceuticals. I'm still not a very good pill taker. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that bit. George. Um, I want want to thank you for. Being my friend for 50 years. 
Thank you. Think you could be a five decades of putting up with me? No shit. Cool. <laughs> so, shit, I've I've known you my whole life. That's right. So this is what so. I'm doing today. So anyway, I, I like your cowboy hat, but I didn't know if you'd like this one. I got this one mm. some time ago. So try it on and see how it I just want to protect you all. Baldy there. Ooh, with a shaded neck too. Awesome. And and this is from Kale and I. Sure, <laughs> get him his own fast sweatshirt, mm -hmm. and I think it'll fit. It's, yeah, I think it, it is large, so yeah, good one. large figure, really, really, really nice. nice. Anyway, I really Those appreciate are, making it over this time because I'm going to put his ass to work here next week or two. <laughs> Those sweatshirts are badass, guys. And Thank if you George. ain't got one, shoot us an email. You can get yourself a fast sweatshirt. Yeah, uh, I have yet to put our shirts and sweatshirts and stuff on our website. And remember, guys, if you haven't checked out our new website, the link is in the description below this video for our website. Okay. <laughs> Glenn, what is happening? Oh, my God. Go blind. Man. Turn the hole. <laughs> uh, see Glad to go. see you, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad to have him over here. He hasn't done that really relaxing yet where he goes, but he will. <laughs> those, are hey, really, those are real pretty. Looking nice. Starting to get fat. Yeah. They still jiggle when you touch them, don't they? Hey, how come oh, you got a small tent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they still jiggle. When they start to sway, that's when you know they're gaining weight. These ones are trying to lean out of the tent. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that you have a small tent, you have a yeah. full tent. Well, and that's a natural way for them to do it when they start gaining weight is to open up like that. Spread out. Yeah. That's why we try to tell people to trim off what's underneath the branch when they're trimming. I like the structure on that one. Yeah, that's a pretty one. That one, that's my no tent. Y'all, okay. I finally got popular. Well, I've opened her. She, none of them still ain't showed yet. Hmm. I got these two back here. I think they're males. They have tall <laughs> and stretchy, you know. But I got that. Nice. And this is going to be my next run. In <coughs> cool. A couple weeks, I'll be kind of cut. That's right. You're doing kind of the hydroponic. Kind of thing. cutting out there a little, Glenn. No, I'm going to do uh, straight up aeroponics. Aeroponics, that's right. Yeah. Acapulco Gold's coming out really good, Josh. I'll uh, see about taking a picture or something. There's, we got two of them, and one of them is, does not look like the other one, but the one inside the gate looks really pretty, and the one at the high end of the garden is just kind of weird and small and lollipop looking. But it still looks pretty good, so we'll see how they come out at the end of the year. <laughs> <coughs> How's it going, Pockets? Going great. Going great. Yeah. Yeah, he's over here to really start with the last of the trimming. I mean, we got we got done with everything here not a couple weeks ago, but now it's time to start over on the other end. So shouldn't we get that done? We shouldn't have to worry about it too much. When, shouldn't be as bad. Yeah. Now. No, we'll get things cleaned up better before they really start to set. That's, are, that's the hard part. Those are looking real nice, Glenn. Looking to got a fine, fine selection going there. <laughs> I got to put these on, otherwise I go blind looking in that tent. Ain't it? Right. <laughs> hey, what brand are those? These are uh, Vivasun. Uh, that's the what we got. That's the same brand my dad got. <laughs> Yeah, I kite them now when we got the thing. But I tell you, you know, I, I end up wearing those things driving around town. I tried them and they work great. And in this oh. smoke in this smoke and stuff, they look it yeah, it, I think perception better than with yellow. When I used to play paintball and uh, be out in the woods and stuff, I'd always wear yellow. Yeah. Because <laughs> about the yellow just makes movement and with you know, your camo and stuff pop in that green environment in the wood. 
Yeah. No, I like the green. I've really tried it out in quite a few situations. So kudos to Vivo Sun. <laughs> yeah. yeah they're less. I got two pairs off uh, Amazon for one shit. <laughs> yeah, it'd be well, nice to know because we'd like to have another pair of two. Oh, I should throw those on the website too. Yeah, you should. I mean, they work well. Yeah, and they got good side shields. This little yeah. Nice yeah. Side See. I've made sure I've used one of those little, uh, one of those microfiber cloths for lenses and stuff ever since I got them. It comes yeah, I wore the hell out of them. Keeps them nice and shaped, uh, unscratched. So. Yeah, they, I got mine. I came in a case, glasses, and a and a cloth. Cool. Together, two of them. So nice. And I got a band about it. Like I said, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Very oh, good, <yeah>. Josh. <laughs> Double M Despo, good evening. Double Despo. And Vanilla Farms, too. Bahala. Bahala Farms. Plants are looking good, good, Glenn. What are you using to feed? Right now, we're still using no. the. Oh, 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 excuse me. For Glenn. Yeah. Using that. That 3 2 1, right? I'm not going to start using that until I do the air right now. That's 2020 straight up. Oh, okay. No button handler. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> then my alcohol gold at the house here is just going fucking crazy. Yeah, you got to be careful. This I'm getting above the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, if you guys are on uh, Instagram or following our Instagram, I posted a picture of our uh, our Acapulco Gold fan leaves at my house here, and it's literally just wider from shoulder to shoulder on me, and the fan leaf is freaking <laughs> enormous. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I can't believe that whole plant that. That platinum dosi down to the lower end of the bed is the is the monster. Like that hole's got to be the monster hole. I mean, monster hole. So then last year, so every year, beastie, every year, our favorite strain, whichever one we want to be the hole. biggest, throw in that hole. That's what we're gonna have to do. Have to do. <laughs> Still learning the garden. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's gonna add. So, you know, this year's rakings and stuff, too. So that'd be a good boost for next year, too. I don't think you've seen that. Yeah, I did. Did you? Yeah, I did. Oh. I thought it was good. I got it on my phone. You see that? Yeah, oh. I probably did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're... <clears throat> Huge ass family. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get from them outdoor growers, ain't it? <laughs> that puts these plants to shame. <laughs> uh, yeah, even when I get a, a nice one, I'm lucky if it's the size of my hand, and my hand ain't that big. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I biggest ones in here are probably this one right here. Probably just just smaller than my hand. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. all I do with proximity. Yeah. You know, when they're touching each other, they're saying that's my... That's all the proximity I got. So. Yep. <laughs> the outdoors, there's a lot more elbow room, believe me. I figure if they got a 10 foot hole, they can be a 10 foot plant. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> hell yeah. I just can't grow outside. I, I live in, in town. The way they got it uh, regulated around here, you can see the plant from a, a road that's adjacent to. <laughs> I'm just like being out in the woods, so that's cool. Out of town, I mean, yeah, it's right by a. They turned it into a major artery. It was a turn, a cutoff toward past town, you know, so they can get over to uh, 99 Oaks. So I can get to 101. And, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's nice. I mean, a 125 foot bed. Yeah, you can put any amount in there and, and have plenty of room. So, 
the thing about it is it runs from east to west and you know in most beds you should have run north to south so that east to west you know that they, they don't get that hollow or that shady spot on one side and these the bed being long enough we get them spaced enough the sun still i mean going clear over it it, it goes it, there's no shady spots on the plants because they're they're far enough it's apart that, that yeah they get plenty of sun on all sides so <clears throat> it's just kind of the way we always used to run the the beds in the garden for the summers was north to south so oh, yeah. yeah stone moon 420 thanks for all the videos father and son <laughs> cheers from canada cheers to cool. you thank you you guys are i You're hope you welcome. guys the fires are out because ours are sure aren't yet so i mean i swear the whole west coast and the continents and everything are burning who farm was that I went to uh, last year, I think, the outdoor farm. We got to help them set up in this box, outside box. What, when it froze and whatever? There was a guy in Colorado that, that his, yeah, they had a freak snowstorm or something like that. And he, his crop was about half in that froze under like eight inches of snow. No, no, no. I was talking about that guy you guys went to his farm and made a video at his farm. He was setting up his. his oh, oh, Thomas. Thomas. Farm. Yeah, he, farm. <coughs> no, it's not a pot farm. He, no. he has a, yeah. He grows for someone. And so he had what? Uh, he had six plants, but yes. But yeah, no, he, he liked the. Big, big, big ass. Uh, Container, yeah, six hundred gallon container. That's right, six hundred yeah. gallons. They were six hundred gallons. So, <laughs> so. I filling them things up. <laughs> How'd you like that rototillery out on the end of that steel? Did you see that? Yeah, cool. So, no kidding. I like because I got a good steel. <laughs> I just haven't been able to find those those tines, man. That those were so cool. Um, all the plants, all the plants behind us are are from him. Oh, yeah, the Mysterion, they yeah, the the yeah, Jaeger the, and Mysterion. Look, look how much farther along the Jaeger, uh, the Mysterion is to these others. All right, George, you relax. Now we'll be done here in a bit. Thanks for coming. Hop <laughs> off of here and watch on on uh, the YouTube. That's about as far as it'll reach. Yeah. Hang on. Alrighty, Glenn. <clears throat> Thanks for showing us. Thanks for yes, you got pretty plants. <sighs> Hold up. <laughs> okay. Damn cords. Yeah, see how these things are buttoned up really good. Get up here on the top, maybe. Yeah. So this is the Mysterion. This is our Mysterion, uh, and so far it's similar to like our Jack Frost. Yeah, it seems uh, to be a, as a an early butter, early girl. Yeah, she's already starting. Uh, the other plants are she, they're coming, but she's way ahead. Kind of starting. They've all been on the same time. Yeah, yeah. time everything. Yeah, this one's this one up here is doing starting pretty good too <clears throat> same with over here yeah this is the kick in, so. this is the female jaeger a jaeger <clears throat> <laughs> too bad we didn't know somebody to hold on to your mail <laughs> right <clears throat> we are well probably might be able to do in my house i mean um Stone move. We are fine. I'm gonna just so that well, I mean, just so that we have some Jaeger pollen. But I do want to try to make some Jaeger seeds. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna take mine down tomorrow because I don't. I don't so think we, can, we have very many. Maybe tomorrow. <clears throat> see about bringing over the, um, the mail. Yeah, that you can send home with me tonight. Yeah. Yeah, we can do it tonight. Okay. Because I think it's. It's close, but it's not. Well, also, you know, it'll, yeah, yeah, no, no, that Mysterion mail and take it's well, it's ready to go. Hell yeah, 
We are fine here on the East Coast. Thank you. Good luck to you guys there. Those fires. Are Good luck horrible. to you. Yeah. Yes, there are <clears> hundreds of thousands of acres out here. Just all around us. Yeah. They're basically just trying to maneuver the fire away from people or keep it away from people. But sometimes that ain't happening. So thank you for caring. Have a good evening. <coughs> and so I don't know if you guys remember. Uh, we've been in here. We've kind of had uh, an issue, Might do an do issue with mites. Uh, last cycle we had them. Uh, had them really bad out in the tent, and uh, that was kind of a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, out there. But we took care of them, didn't we? Yeah, we fucking took care of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyway, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, a random message from our buddy down in Australia uh, shot us an email with the link and everything, and we got we ended up getting us some uh, this, some yeah. uh, green cleaner. Okay, and <laughs> I mean it's not only for for mites, but it it kills the mites and their eggs on contact. And if it doesn't take care of it with the first spray, uh, you, can, you can spray. You can spray every day. It, it just depends on how heavy uh, your infestation is uh, with whatever pest. The thing is, because you shake it, you know, often shake it really well before you mix it. Shake it really well while you're mix while it's mixed and you're spraying. Yeah, yeah. during it and. Uh, uh, one of our next videos, guys, is uh, spraying with the with the green cleaner. Uh, I went over to Father's, and we went into the garden. We mixed up some of the screen cleaner, and we sprayed a few of the plants um, as a, a tester just to see how they're doing out there in the garden. And you just had you know, normal bugs. So. And here I came home, and I sprayed. I sprayed everything <laughs> here. I sprayed everything. Still, you need to. <clears throat> You need to use it and spray, you know, even to, long enough to break the cycle. You know, if there's any eggs that ever make it, I mean, there's bound to be one, but still. Even the male plants, I've sprayed the male plants yeah. too. Yeah, just be continue with it for a while. So, yeah. It does seem to be strong enough and it's work, working better than the gigantic. So, Love me in, the in the house, mummy just finished spraying. Hey, very good nice. ideas. Sounded like a good plan. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take some of this stuff, <coughs> this home, and, and so, uh, how many, yeah, a couple ounces. Oh, yeah, that would be plenty. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to spray my plants here in the next day or two. So, But, yeah, if you got a little pump sprayer, you know, where you can turn that nozzle up, man, that makes it so much easier just going up through the plant like that. It's kind of nice in here spraying because I got, I got the Mylar going up all the way, yeah. and... The, the deck is up off of the ground, yeah. so the plants are up, so I can actually just squat down and, and aim it up, and I can I can hit everything on the underneath side easily, yeah. and then get up and do the, the, the top spray. The trick, dude, is to remember to try to go slow enough Take your for time. a good coating. <laughs> I always time. get to going too fast sometimes. Like, yeah, spray, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, just, you know. And slow down. Yeah, and, and really sticking this your sprayer in there, spraying the back side of it works really pretty really well too. I like this sprayer that I have. I don't have the adjustable head on it, which I would really like, but it's still kind of fine. It has a powerful spray, so you can when you spray the underneath sides of the leaves, you can just see the leaves, shh, you know, go up. So yeah. so you can tell what leaves you hit. Well, this you, um, <laughs> this is yeah, this right here. You this yeah. what? Just your yeah. your spray. It's just a, just a normal. But yeah, no, it's a good little spray. spray. But it's yeah. nice. It's powerful. <coughs> like a like a almost one and a half gallons, completely full, but one gallon up to here. Yeah. Now a gallon's a good <laughs> measurement to put in. So. All right. Let's see. Send me some of that. Logan has. Green. Yes, it has. <laughs> it's not simple green. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> They're going good. Awesome. I'll send you some simple green. Hot, they were unhappy. <laughs> you know, most plants really have a hard time when it's 
it gets to be over 100. I don't care what it is. I mean, even some of the tropical, you know, strains and stuff still have a hard time when it comes to 100 degrees uh, <laughs> or better. So I'm glad they made it because, yeah, if you can even just put it, I've used shade cloths before and, and they work pretty good. I think I want to try a run of autos in here next run. Yeah. Some We've of our got several, some of I our think. auto seeds. I want to pick some of our autos and I want to run the cycle of autos in here. Logan S, what's going on, my friend? Cool. Good to Captain see you. Captain Dash Capiller, Caterpillar Concentrate. Very good. <laughs> been a while. Your seeds are going good in my garden. It's been hot and let's see. Turn fog. <laughs> good evening. Pretty appreciate change, but that's a good one. That, that'll help quite a bit. You know, I've even out and my brother kind of gave me the idea that um, the old Egyptians, you know, for a lot of the flower beds and stuff that they had, the gardens, they buried big clay pots, you know, like this far below the ground. And they, but they were unglazed. So they were just, you know, clay pots. So, but they'd fill them things up and then put the cap back on them and and they would just leach out slowly. You know, they put them like every five foot or so. Hmm. But they were like big containers. Some of them were really huge. I mean, as tall as us and that big around, you know, where they, for their gardens and stuff. And I was wondering if maybe we'd have to try that. <laughs> 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 I thought it would be a good idea. So, I don't know, maybe, ne maybe next spring or something we'll see about trying to do a <clears throat> plant on, on like two... Well, what do you call it for being buried underground? <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what to call it. it. It's just, yeah, we'll see about finding some big clay containers and hmm. seeing if we can do that. Uh, it's been hot, but they were unhappy, but I shaded them for a bit, and now they're growing. Nice. Very good. Very which good. one Which one you got growing, Logan? The uh, gnome candy? Got the gnome candy? <laughs> Turf hog. <laughs> I've been spraying Captain Jack's Caterpillars Concentrate once a week. Let's see if it works. Yeah, I I believe I've I've heard of that. Captain Jack's Caterpillar Concentrate for those <laughs> yeah fucking caterpillars with the moths. I hate moths too. Even see, Shane, good evening. See a lot of guys using Power S one. Good can uh, good can oh. Control for PM. Yeah. I use 30% shade cloth and they are good. Yeah, you know, that's like. That's a good idea because some. <coughs> when we see shade cloth, that's about all we see, not the percentage. So, no, that's nice to know there's a percentage on the, the amount of shade. Yeah. So, hell yeah. 30%, when, that's good. When we didn't have the cover over the garden. Yeah. And the plants were really small, we did have to put put the screens over there. And, and we did that one year, yeah. The shade cloth. It was sun was just cooking it would but yeah as soon as we did that then they really did like it a lot better help them out yeah david payne what's going on my friend how's it going it is going good Dwayne brady going cool. good <coughs> Very cool. seems to be nice working to nice <laughs> nice pins brother oh thanks Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Had my idea. <laughs> <laughs> Wayne Bradsby, what is up? Good evening. Thanks for joining. Remember, guys, no kidding. hit that like button for us. <laughs> Lemon meringue. Show us some love. Uh, Mummy Mountain Indica is using Flying Skull Nukem. Flying Skull Nukem? For, for spray. I think I should just go in and <clears throat> into the grow shop and look and see what because they got a whole shelf. I ain't kidding you. There's this so shelf, many different. There is. There's so like many a different. 25 foot shelf that's just got <clears throat> pesticides on it. <laughs> what do you want to use? <laughs> so, yeah, anymore. It's just whatever I guess you can find it's that All really works and works for what you got to do. What concentrates and yeah. for, for like what insects, you know, you have what. That and the pests. Uh, <laughs> buying, yeah, I was. Looking at the different containers of, of uh, nitrogen and pot and uh, potash and, and phosphorus. I mean, all these, you know, 
they might ask questions if you buy too much phosphorus. <laughs> Let's hope not. But anyway, yeah, I mean, all those separate ingredients. I mean, there are people out there that, that really do vary from the 20, 20, 20, you know, to the 550, you know, the 10, 30, 20. Yeah. That, we got a pretty basic, you know, formula for what we do. So, <clears throat> but still, there are people that tweak, tweak the numbers so really hard. I mean, they almost completely emit some nutrients. And I've always thought that, or felt that uh, doing so, you you got to give it back something. So it's best to just like nitrogen, people almost cut out nitrogen for, you know, when they bud. So, but no, you give that plant 10% nitrogen, it's going to do that much better because it's only going to use what it needs. But cutting it out completely, it would be like cutting out salt from your diet or sugar or something like that so always yeah. leaving a little bit of the all three nut nutrients instead of just eliminating one the plant will like you better for it so. follow up by turf hog shout out everybody what y'all are smoking on turf hog smoking on some banana cookies og lemon live, meringue live resin nice lemon meringue smoking on some vanilla latte some auto flower Cool. Nice. Vanilla latte. That actually sounds smooth. Is this that steak? This is the Gnome Candy Silver. Oh, okay. Gnome Candy Silver. Yeah. yeah, I gave some of that to George the other day. <laughs> That's really good, and it works. It, it, it. There's definitely a difference between a, a sativa mm. high and, a, and an indica high. So, uh, that last stuff we blasted was was this was silver, yeah, and yeah, it's kick ass. Yep. <clears throat> oh yeah. Profession. Oh, Professor Doctor Yambo Eckel. I think I got that right. <laughs> <laughs> Green greetings from southeast of Germany. Wow. Awesome. Thank you for joining, my friend. <laughs> no kidding. Just got up for some wake and bake. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I that's, love wake that's, and bake. That's literally the best right there. It's waking up. Yeah. Come out, smoke. Northern lights. <clears throat> That's pretty northern good. I like lights. the northern lights. I haven't had any in years either. But man, I did like the slow, you know, the creeper type way it come on. That was pretty good. You know, that's the, 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 that's why I uh, wanted to grow the Acapulco Gold. Because it was just one of those old school strains. Yeah. that have been around forever and i just wanted to kind of bring it back you know and it ended up being fire <laughs> yeah that shit is good yeah i can't wait to see how it turns out of being outdoors right. cause, yes. yeah no it's it's i mean it's got leaves that pick around and stuff and nice big fat white fingers i'll have to take a picture and see about sending you a couple of them yeah but yeah it's one of those we've got to get up inside and clean out again too so <laughs> yeah. So, so, yeah. But yeah, I can't wait. I like to. We've gotten so many seeds from all over the world and stuff, and it, we're we're just trying everything we can to try them. And, so. right. and if we haven't tried it, don't worry. Don't worry, we'll get around we'll to, get it around to it. <laughs> no, it just uh, this. It takes time. Yeah, it, it takes does. time, and you know, there's only so much room. And <laughs> so. outside, outside grow only comes once a year, so that kind of limits it. Yeah. <clears throat> Uh, I can get what few, but no, I think I'll have I'll have my uh, space done and ready, so maybe just about the end of this outdoor season, I can switch to indoor maybe. So, but yeah, we got a couple other things to do yet before it's completely done. But it'll be nice, Simon. Can you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Hala Farms. Captain Jack's spray it says it's for thripes, spider mites. Caterpillars, gypsy moths, loopers, leaf miners, and coddling moths. <clears throat> that's, that's a pretty good variety right there. Yeah, no kidding. Because, I mean, that looks like, it's like, like them little pinky orange things about this long. Remember the ones we took the video of? Yeah. You see that stuff. So, not too worried about spider mites in the outside of the garden uh, as I am the inside. Yeah. But definitely, like for the outside thrive, and for thrips outside, thrips should be and, that and, and the fucking aphids. caterpillars, and aphids. Yeah. I did see a couple aphids on mine, so that's why I went ahead and sprayed, sprayed again, sprayed again. Yeah, you got one, you got two, so yeah, yeah. 
but try to get it early. Stay on top of it. <laughs> That's right. Get it early. That's the thing. Getting the breaking the cycle, you know, the bug and everything in the first like three days or four. So, but, but see, are are aphids really on a cycle? I don't they're think hatching they're... is like any other bug. It, it, you know, they're hatching of their eggs it hatch about every four to five days. So, you not knowing when their next hatching is, spraying three days or four days in a row would break that cycle. And that was one of the keys to trying to get rid of your pests. We're going to have to make a video on hey. some insects and the hatching cycles. <laughs> yeah, we're going to. For, for everybody. <laughs> just, well, we can, you know. Yeah, we just, can. Just so that um, uh, everybody else gets a better idea. Yeah. idea of when and how to spray. <laughs> the spring is staying on top of it. It's, it's a good thing. If you can do it, do it. So, yeah. Are you kidding? Your bugs will, pests will be flown in on people, cats, dogs, turkeys. You know, even the birds that come in in the morning, them little pudgy tops or the little gray birds, blackheads. Yeah. yeah, the toeys. Because who knows how far yeah. away they've been? Who knows yeah. where they've been? They could have been in another. That's, that's how pests travel. So, they could have been in that hemp farm a few miles away. <laughs> Possibly. So, but no, they travel on all kinds of things. So, oh, yeah. that's what I keep saying. I need more space to grow in. <laughs> Grab another tent. <laughs> Grab another tent, make it a condo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was, I always thought, you know, two lights. You know, of course, that was when I was growing with the, you know, the high pressure sodium lights. You know, have two thousand watts side by side. That, that means you got a, an eight foot circle. So, yeah, build yourself an eight foot room. <laughs> a nice new addition on the house. <coughs> I would. <laughs> <laughs> wonder if anybody out there would be even interested in a, a good old fashioned high pressure sodium light. I mean, the way I don't know the way LEDs gone, man. They're, they're LEDs, doing good. LEDs have kind of taken over the uh, the market, but no, there's people out there that could really, you know, would really use it. The thing is, yeah, they're just thousand watt, thousand watt. So <clears throat> the LEDs are much more electric efficient. So. And that's probably why everybody's switching to. Well, I think so. I mean, shit, electricity's gone up what two or three times in the last three years, I think. No, maybe it's four. But yeah, no, it just went up here not long ago. I like my bill keeps going up and up and up and up. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, our bill here, yeah, it's just. Modern genetics. Miss Pockets already. <laughs> he's he's very he's good, here. man. That's a good here. idea. He's here. He's just relaxing. Yeah, he's in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure you'll see him in some of the next. Uh, oh yeah, next video. Previous like videos. That. Yeah. You got to get a chance to relax. He he's because he lives in a great big apartment building. <laughs> I, I think sound kind of compresses him. And he has to get out here in that open where he can relax and expand a bit. Is that right, George? Yes, sir. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, straw. Yeah, ooh, straw. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Although once I get the aeroponic system uh, up, I am going to expand mm -hmm. into the garage. Very good. Nice. I'll give you a little bit more room. <laughs> Modern genetic. I miss pockets already. <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting out there, I tell you. <laughs> Pockets, you're missed already. <laughs> and I, it's too goddamn hot to put that sweatshirt on. He says, to be continued. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, we got a lot of videos coming up for you guys. A lot of them from the outside garden. Yeah. <laughs> No, we got one we got to put together. I hope we can get it done because that it'll show over a two-day period the cleaning of a whole plant. I mean, the plant's you know four foot, 
So, yeah. Oh, let's see who's it. Oh, brother dear. Gagger, Gagger, Junior. I don't even, you know, honestly, I'm sorry. I, I murdered that. I don't even know how to say that. I don't even know how to pronounce that. <laughs> oh, but hello, how are you doing? <laughs> oh, Smoking on your own. What's your own strain? Uh, I'm really that- only got to see part of the, you know, given the George and stuff. Oh, that's okay. You can rewatch it later. Yeah, I know. <laughs> rewatch it later, though. Cool. But yeah, as a thank you, give them one of our sweatshirts. Remember, guys, we do have shirts and sweatshirts available for everybody. Uh, so if you want to get your hands on one of those, shoot us an email, father and son's trim tutorials at gmail.com. Get your hands on a shirt or a sweatshirt. I know winter's, I don't want to say winter's coming up quick, but. Kind of, it'll be here soon. It'll, it'll be a while. I don't think it's going to be like last year. I don't but think so either. I, I think we might actually have a colder winter. I, I was going to say a longer summer. <laughs> that might be. <laughs> I think we're going to have a longer summer. Yeah, it'd be nice if we had like a good cold snap right around you know, the end of, you know, the end of August, early September, and then just have for a whole week of bad you know, freezing weather. Just have the heat. And then have like right back three weeks of nice weather after that. That's good. That's a good Indian summer. Hell yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good for the buds. So I had to. Started putting in a smoke in your own. Very good. Started putting in some uh, support sticks in here. This one I was wanting to go lean way over when I was spraying it, so I put in some supports. Mm-hmm. Did you see that? Gat grower? <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce Gat grower. that. Like I said, I'm sorry if I murdered that. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> smoke in your own, man. That's always good. What, smoke your own. what strain is that? Yeah, ours is no <laughs> candy. No candy. Yeah, we no got candy it. silver. Yeah. No candy silver. Oh man, this one's looking nice. This is what's this one? Mysterio. Good. Mysterio. Because yeah, that would be a, if you wanted to bud the seed, that would be on that plant. That one there because I mean the age of it and everything. Let's see, where you have the pollen, right? Yeah, I haven't taken it down yet. Okay, I'm doing that tomorrow. So, I mean, I'll set a video of that. So, then, yeah, you can just take just a you can get yourself a white paper bag or something to leave on there. White just lets light better. Choose one one brown bag, choose one of these, uh, yeah, one you know, to limb down to about here, something to do. Yeah. And just leave it on there for a day or two and just be careful when you take it off. So, but you're gonna have to remember, you're gonna have 10, 10 to 12 weeks. Yep. For, yeah, I'll have to mark the limb. I'll have to mark the yeah. limbs on which ones. Keep the tag on one when you palm that way. When it's ready to cut down, you leave it. Yeah, well, and, and anywhere else around in the plant, there's possibly you may pollinate that also. But yeah, that's the main limb that you pollinate. Anything else you find, just make sure, you know, it's a clean branch or something. Yeah. I, I might have to figure out how to raise my light a little bit, maybe. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> They're considerably taller than they were when you first started with the 12 hours, you know. So. You never got it, George, George, George. <laughs> Is that your strain? <laughs> Mine is Renegade BS. That's right. Renegade. Yeah. Renegade. Kind of a cool name for a stream. Yeah. I was fucking so pissed. The one cherry, cherry, uh, cherry stream that was in the corner here. You, you just called it. It ended up being a male. Yeah, it was just a. 
Well, maybe one day. The cherries on. Anyway, it's the mother, out. Wasn't the mother of all cherry? No, it's outside with the uh, uh, with the male Jaeger. Yeah, I would probably put that over at my house. So, yeah. If we want some some of that cherry pollen, we can keep it. I don't know. If, I don't know if we want to use it to cross it with something. <laughs> I don't know. I've never grown that, that cherry strain before. Yeah. We could ask. We could ask Thomas about it. But for the mysterion? No. Let's see what that cherry strain. Is like. Oh. Okay. Because <coughs> that's who we got from too. <coughs> I grow in. I grow in tents in the winter. It gets hot. In the summer. Yeah, same here. Like, like honestly, I'm surprised these plants haven't fried already. Yeah. In here, the summer. So I'm doing, I'm doing good. Doing yeah. good so far. Not like last summer. <laughs> Which is weird because we've had a lot of days that have been over 100 degrees. Yeah. And it was like that last year. But I, I don't but, think it was. I don't know. Definitely, definitely an odd year. This uh, yeah, year, I don't know. not any better. That was definitely. Well, I always wondered if it was a high solar year. And that would make it hotter. And, you know, I mean, when you could step outside and feel your skin tingle, you know. I mean, yeah, you know, I figure that's a good time to be out of the sun. So. <laughs> yeah. Renegade is my club, and the BS is because it's a bag season. Okay, I get it. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I always wonder how how some people come up with some of their names. <laughs> well, our gnome candy was Moses' idea. That name was idea. Her, yeah, her idea. You, well, with all them film names, you ought to just call it gnome candy. And yeah, it was kind of funny because yeah. say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what well, we were saying wasn't it wasn't ringing with her, and she's like, "You goddamn say, say that again." You just named our plant. Yeah, so. she did too. So that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I heard from her today too. She's doing good. So moved up there with next to her kids. Nice. Yeah. I think I'm going to make a video using the URB as well. See, I'm gonna try to spray the yep. uh, spray the outside plants using that. <clears throat> Okay. Give them a little vitamins, maybe. Maybe I should do these ones too, since. Uh, Wonder if you need to wash it off later or something like that. I don't think so. Yeah. yeah I don't think well, so. Yeah, just have to try one plant or something like that. And of course, I don't know. As close as they are, it might be kind of hard. Huh? <laughs> smoking doing the outdoors. Smoking on some Royal Cherry Diesels. Fire. Very good. Nice. That sounds good. Usually all the diesel strains. Stone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> Lance. <laughs> Usually the, the diesel strains are really good. Huh? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So far, so far using this stuff, I definitely see a difference. We'll just continue for a while. And I, sp I sprayed three days, three out of four days uh, so far, and it's done really good. I, I don't see any moving around yet on the, of course, I haven't searched them today. Yeah, that's uh, something to keep an eye on. So. But I just sprayed them last night, so. <clears throat> but good. All you can do is just keep on the regular regimen. Of, I mean, how do you spray? So, yeah, yeah. After, our stuff, I, I after, think it worked pretty after good. After we get this under control, we'll probably spray maybe once a week. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe depending once, once every two weeks. I think it says tw one, one to twice a week. Let's see. For necessary applications or whatever the application. Half ounce to a gallon is a 
preventative maintenance. One ounce per gallon. Yes. Is there, there anybody on here that, that that has tried the like green? Two ounces. The, the green cleaner. cleaner. <coughs> no, I, just what I've seen is exceptional. But yeah, no, I, I can't wait to try it out a little more. I'm, couple of the other plants. I mean, if one's got bugs like it, the other one, yeah. like I, said, I just then another saw one, some yeah. aphids. So. Yeah, we, we're going to put together a video of just outdoor pests. And uh, some <laughs> might not be pests. They're just... But they can be yeah, hazardous <laughs> to your plants sometimes. Uh, little, yeah, a little moth worms. I mean, some of the bitches. But we were definitely seeing, what, like four or five different kinds yeah well that's basically because of the, the bugs yeah because of the fire and stuff a year or so ago it just yeah. i mean bugs run <laughs> from the fire just like anything else and but yeah man that was just, bugs were terrible ones i'd never seen before you know yeah. And, so yeah no they had to come from the woods because yeah we we're just infested everywhere what are you treating for uh in here mice in spider here mice. i was treating for spider mites just because I uh, had the big issue inside the tent. Uh, that was fucking crazy. But um, it started in here, and it ended up moving out to the tent, but kind of stayed in here. <laughs> yeah. And even even after doing the, the huge major cleaning in here, after all the plants were done, changed all the mylar and everything. And just it was going everything. out with you on your shirts. Huh? I said it was going out with you on your shirts. No, I don't mean oh, at all. Yeah. I meant the mites. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah. But if that or they just were had a good start on them already when they moved out there. So but some conditions, man, they can really they can really just explode as they, far as they evolve. <laughs> they evolve. Yeah, they really got they work together. Color and leg and legs and everything, don't they? You see you seen that YouTube? Post, like they were working together. <laughs> yeah, on, yeah, that photograph or whatever. You top your butt or something like that. Shit. Yeah, insane. <laughs> so, yeah, that's kind of out of hand. So. <laughs> still Did that happen over what two or two days or chap? Something? What's going on, Looney Productions? Cheers <laughs> to you, my friend. Aloha. Nice looking jungle. Yeah, this freaking is getting pretty. Jungly in here. Yeah, they're, they're trying to take off. Good things. Hell yeah. Yeah. Granddaddy perp. Lane dude is very in the house. Good evening, going here. <laughs> What's going on, Uncle? Yeah. Checking in. Hell yeah. Activist granny. Cheers to you, my friend. Hope you're having a good night. No kidding. Just yeah, spray down with. Alcohol. My good, son, good evening. <laughs> my son does that at the farm. You know, I did try a, a mix of spray uh, when I was when I was really having the issues with the mites. I tried the water and alcohol mix. It was a 50-50 mix using the 99% isopropyl. Oh, that's right. We didn't do that. It was it was strong. Like the 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 mites did not like it. Like they don't like it. You know, like I, I can imagine. I can't even imagine what it feels like to them. But <laughs> uh, the alcohol evaporates rather rather quickly, so it, it doesn't hurt your plant. <laughs> well, and, and Clay sent down the he sent down a a mix, a good mix or something like that. Ratio mix. Yeah. 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 I, I just couldn't see it because it was in his text thing. So. I, I know where it's at now. <laughs> hey, Mr. Homegrown. Hey, hey. good afternoon. Well, good evening. Heard of it? Active and granny. Never used to spray yes. your clothes. That is. That's right. You either change them and take a bath when you go into somebody else's garden or after you, you come out. That's right. Hey, why why do why why do not press? Why do we not press? Well, we do, but it works better with fresher product. And so waiting for fresher product <laughs> oh you mean the, the gizmo there yeah we got our press here yeah i never had any success with that uh etoh at all 
That's all. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we just have a hard time. Tried it multiple times. Just in what the moisture content or something is for. So you really uh, use be effective or something? That's what we haven't really figured out yet. It was like, I, I think it was like around thirty yeah. <laughs> percent. I've tried it multiple times. Have you had any luck with it? Because I didn't have any luck with it. With spraying, spraying with the alcohol. Um, I, I, I tried it in here and I tried it in the tent, but it didn't seem to to do anything. Honestly. Was that just a one-time shot, or was it like four days with the alcohol? Yeah, I didn't do it like three, four days, but like I did it for two days straight spraying, and I still didn't see any any difference at all. Oh, okay. Like there was no slowing down yeah like not not like this green cleaner like still well established after spraying twice with this green cleaner i really started seeing a difference <laughs> predictor mites and let's see that and taking power. pictures with, with that lenses we can do a video thing with that lens on there you know yeah no yeah. so, but i mean yeah yeah that way you can i got it must be at home. Bleach water that tent crevices. Yeah, I did. When I when I uh, when I took the plants out of that tent and I yeah. went and hit hit them with the flamethrower, uh, I did. When I cleaned, I had a bleach spray and everything. I cleaned that tent really good. <laughs> yeah, they're saying right down to the seams in the corner. Yep. They're right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pour that shit on there. Yeah. It's a black tent. Roger got his tent too, so I can't wait to see how he does. We sent our <laughs> we sent our Vivo Sun tent up to Alaska. We're gonna see how the setup works off grid. Off grid. Yeah. And is he using the the six hundred still? So? I think so. Still using the Mars Hydro. Uh, six hundred, I think. Yes, I don't. I don't think I have. I think it's the TS six hundred. We'll have to I believe. We'll have to. He'll let us know. I'm pretty yeah. sure. But yeah, I think so. Yeah, I will try and find the exact ingredients. Oh, I missed it. Let's see. Ingredients that is on my list for my pest control oil. <laughs> oh, that I use. Okay. <laughs> Predators, yeah. Jose Lopez, good evening, Mr. Homegrown. Oh, Is it burning so, up down where you are? You like yourself with the fires. What is your email? I'm trying to find the exact ingredients. <laughs> Mr. Homegrown, throw our email up there in the chat for you. <clears throat> what do you think about plant mutations? mutations? Um, the last gross, <laughs> last growth cycle we had in here, when they were when the plants were short, yeah, they were really uh, food bar looking. Every single one of them had mutations. But yeah, when they and the seeds were an unknown, so we ended up calling them the rogue from uh, X Men, called the mutants. <laughs> <laughs> But no, you found out that the, the plants did really well and were yeah, good on one the cycle, just one yeah. cycle. So several different kinds, sometimes they, different. They actually they they actually grew out of their mutations. Yeah. So I mean, it turned out to be real pretty plants. Yeah, really and really good. <laughs> Thanks. Happy Friday. Jose Lopez, I have multiple around 60 mutations. Good advantage of being. I love mutations. Mutations <laughs> are pretty cool. Yeah, as long as I really like do. The, I mean, as long as you keep them a one time thing or something like that. Like that one main water leaf that I showed you that, that had a, a, a branch coming off of the stem. Oh, that's right. Off the, of the water leaf. Yeah. Crazy. Some of, them, some of the pineapple and stuff does that. 
it just kind of branches off the stock like this, like a redwood, instead of a, yeah. a branch off, you know, like this. Uh, so is it a good advantage or bad? Yeah. Well, not all mutations are bad. No, no. They're definitely as stony as others. Yeah. I Absolutely. Mean, but it's just kind of, <laughs> they're novel to do and stuff like that, but it's something I don't really keep around is, is <laughs> mutation. So, yeah. But like I said, we find them all over quite a few seeds and stuff that we have and have gotten so and that's usually why we why we start out with with uh, a lot of plants so that we can thin them out we thin them out as you know they they grow to be male and female and uh, be kind of picky and choosy a lot of ones you which graduate. ones we want to keep yeah so it's a good advantage I mean the like I said, the, the novelty of a, a good weird one or something like that is pretty good. Some of them are, I've known creepers to be like 20 minutes or something before you really think you're stoned <laughs> or realize you are. <laughs> so, but yeah, that's a long time ago. <clears throat> yeah. All in all, I'd say for good. <laughs> Iron hole. Mike, what's going on, my friend? Good to see you. Thanks for joining. Yeah, we're gonna play around with some URB tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna mix some of the stuff up, and spray some plants outside, and maybe in here in the evening. I think it's about time to hit them with a shot of uh, fish emotions. Good idea. It's uh, always a good idea, I think, for indoor. I think I'm getting low too. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I just realized I was out here the other day. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have, have to fix that. <laughs> Southern Charm Baker's Cannabis Reviews. Cheers, my friend. Thanks for joining. Good evening. Thanks. Yeah. After a shot of whiskey. <laughs> Our genetics. Yeah. Well, guys, it is about that time. Uh, Glenn, thank you for, uh, for sure. hopping no kidding. on, sharing your garden. We always love seeing your garden, guys. Doing so, good. Like we said, if you're able to hop on here and show us your babies, you know we're more than happy to check them out. We love seeing other people's gardens. Yeah. And uh, maybe if you got a need a suggestion, we can help you out. And if we can't figure it out, then we just kind of put it out there and we have friends to help out. So that's how we do it. And then in the meantime, guys, keep an eye out tomorrow morning, premiering at <laughs> nine o'clock, uh, spraying outside in the garden with the green cleaner. Yeah, this is our first, <clears throat> first application. First time using the green cleaner yeah. outside in the garden. Yeah. yeah. So we're pretty stoked about that to see how, how it, I think spraying outside, uh, like twice, maybe the twice a week for the first week, that stuff, just, yeah, to, get, just to get it started. And then once a week is an addition here. Yeah. As an addition after that, and then I think we can kind of lighten it up. We have to wait and see. Because that. I didn't see any with with the mites. I didn't see any change till after, like I said, after the second spray. It probably would take some time like that for it to happen. So, yeah. Yeah. Either to die or break down or whatever it is they're doing. So. Anyway, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Do it in your garden. <laughs>